Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 30th of August where I set up just one of our potential signals from our stock scanner members area. So in the members area itself we get potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades and potential stochastic long and short trades on multiple time frames. I'm really interested in the short trade today as futures are quite negative I'm, as I'm making this video during the European morning. So as you can see here for potential short fifth wave trades for the 30th of August our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks something like this for today. I'm concentrating on the 60 minute time frame. So I'm looking for a potential short here. But I'm going to do something slightly different and use another part of our multiple time frame strategy that we teach in our elite training course. So let's initially look at this chart for HOLX on the 60 minute time frame here. You can see from these highs towards the end of July here, during August, we've had this bearish move and then we've had a wave four pullback against there and we're just in the green zone at the moment on the 60 minute but we can clean this up a little bit uh, as this wave four is quite long it's good it's kept to all the rules uh, that's fine we would want to clean it up a little bit so i'm going to look at this on a different time frame and just go up so the signals come on the two on the 60 but i'm going to go to the 240 minute and i'm going to use the think or swim version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This is our Ninja Trader, but I'm going to go and set it up on the 240 on think or swim. So this is the same trend, but this is on the four hourly chart, the 240. So we've just cleaned that wave four up a little bit, really, and, and then we'll just go through these filters that we use. So same high that we've isolated the wave count from. We've got the wave one, the two, the three, and the wave four into the green zone. All we've done is cleaned it up on a slightly higher time frame just to help us with the entry a little bit and manage it. So let's zoom in and have a look. So the first thing, the three filters for our stock scanner membership, what we look at first is that wave four pullback has found resistance in this case, so potential short, uh, in our probability zones. This time it's in the green zone. So if it finds resistance here and turns back down, there's an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five low into our automated target zones. The next filter is the, the behavior of the wave four. So this 535 oscillator, the, the top of the two subcharts, you can see the oscillator just pulled in between 90 and 140% of that wave three uh, high from here so we are looking good that's another tick in the box also the stochastic has crossed back against the main uh, bearish trend here on the bottom as you can see it's crossed over in the overbought zone now and we are looking at to return to the main trend and go back into the oversold zone so that's the initial filters we now got to look to set up we had a great little doji on the four hour yesterday so the last Last half of the session yesterday um, was total indecision. We've got that bearish uh, futures at the moment, so this could be a potential uh, short. But we're just going to make sure that we're reasonably conservative with the entry, just in case we're on a one-day wonder with a bit of a pullback. So what we're going to do is look at the 6-4 moving average low for the first of our four-hour bar positions today and make sure we're below that, that we break below that to ensure for our entry here so 38.79 is our entry short on holx the stop loss is just above the wave four around about 39.60 and our target zone here in the middle of the target zone 37.31 that gives us a risk to reward of about 1 to 1.8 into the target zone so while still remaining reasonably conservative on the entry just to make sure we're on our way uh, we've still got a great risk reward into our target zone there. So just to remind you, this is HOLX. The original signal came from our stock scanner membership on the 60 minute. But using our multiple time frame strategy, which I teach in our elite training course, I've gone up to the four hour, cleaned it up a little bit. We've still got that same wave four pullback, but just makes the, uh, the whole wave four and the entry a little cleaner so we can just get... Uh, a slightly better look at what we're going to trade. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.